Welcome to Boyfriend Training. I'm your host, Lincoln L. Hayes. Today's topic is dealing with your SO stuff and the cleaning of shared spaces. This is one I still struggle with to this day, mostly because I'm neat and organized, and the missus engages in organized chaos. If you're a neat freak like me, you want tables cleared, clothes put away, and floors cat litter free. If you're not, well, good for you! Strangely, almost every woman I've dated has been the opposite of me on this. Funny how love works, hmm? It's taken me a long time to even accept the idea of organized chaos, but I've had my cleaning blow up in my face enough times to have learned at least part of a lesson. If I want things clean, I have to clean them myself, but leave anything that isn't mine where it is in an orderly fashion. I can't count how many times I've gotten text after angry text demanding to know where I put something I didn't know I moved because I had to have moved it because I'm the only one who cleans. Now, this is not a dig at my lady for not cleaning. This is based on actual, real conversations that have happened. But even then, conversation isn't the right word, let me think. This is based on the hundreds of times I've been yelled at for this. Yeah, that's more accurate. I now will clean either around or underneath, but return said items to where they were. That way, when she can't find them, I can honestly say, I put it back. And it's her fault for losing it. <laughs> My, how the tables have turned. I still, I still haven't heard the last of the time I accidentally threw away a check because it looked like and was in a pile of trash. Remember how mad you got when your mom would move something in your room when you were a kid? It's that same thing all over again, except now you're your mom, and they're swearing at you and could potentially withhold sex from you. If you had that relationship with your mother, well, gross, dude. WTF. In summary, leave their crap where it is, because in their insane minds, it makes sense to be there. Not judging, of course. Thank you, Skytown Entertainment. Thank you, my crew. And thank you, Grandpa Stan, just because you're cool. Please subscribe to my page and leave a comment if there's something you'd like me to discuss. Ega Segedra, that's Hungarian. Dance party! Dance, dance party. What? 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 I forgot. Oh. Um, we should go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah.